Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. I became one. I remember as a youngster, I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. My father and I developed a love of flying in space together. We would go to museums, we would go to air shows. I was lucky enough to become a Navy pilot and then fly and command the space shuttle. For 16 years, we have been living in the relative comfort of low Earth orbit. What we need now is the challenge of living a little bit further away from home, living days away. What will it take to keep humans safe as we go into the unknown of the rest of the solar system? Taking humans all the way to Mars and bringing them safely back to Earth will be very challenging. Mars is at least 100 times further away than the moon. The opportunity to travel from Earth to Mars comes around about every two years. The Earth has to be catching up with Mars in its orbit to give you that shortest distance, and that's the ideal launch window. The first phase of going to Mars will occur at the International Space Station, where we'll learn about long-duration human spaceflight. We're perfecting the things that will help astronauts get to Mars safely. And first and foremost is the things that keep astronauts alive, like clean air and clean water. The next phase will be to establish an outpost near the moon, where we can test the capabilities and limitations of the hardware so that we can get humans all the way to Mars and safely all the way back. Having a cislunar outpost enables international partnerships and commercial opportunities, such as exploration of the lunar surface and scientific and technological research. After cislunar space, we'll start the actual missions to Mars. The first mission will be to Mars orbit. This mission will teach us about the space systems that will take us to Mars and back. The next mission will send humans to the surface of Mars. The crews will undertake detailed scientific research and investigation they will start to unlock the secrets of Mars. The race to the moon captured the world's attention. Building the International Space Station united 15 nations. The journey to Mars will inspire all of humankind as we push deeper into space than we ever have before. Who are our next space explorers? Chances are they're around us today. I'm sure there's a young man or woman somewhere in a classroom today dreaming of going to Mars.